it's Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have my July update for 50 Shades of Green. This is a fantastic ladies collab that was created by Jessica, Amanda, and Cece. We started with pink in 2020, 2021 was purple, and 2022 is green. This project started on April 15th, 2022, and runs through April 15th, 2023, so you have plenty of time to jump on the bandwagon. You do not have to bring in all 50 um, items at one time. You can bring in three, five, however you want to do it, um, as long as it's in the spirit of the project. So I have a couple of things rolling out and a few things rolling in. I think I counted and I'm currently working on... I'm, I have 16 products that I haven't started yet. I think that's going to be 15 because I need to start one of those tree head scrubs. So yeah, let's talk about what we're doing. So we're going to start the first one with this one. This is the one that's always first because it's first on my spreadsheet that started. This is the Eva AMYC Therapy Session Mask, Care Mask. Last update, this was $3.99. It is now $3.43. So I'm looking to the right. That's where the computer is. I love this hair mask. But I'm putting this hair mask aside. And the reason why I'm doing that is because this smells of, like, it's amber, vanilla, maybe a hint of bergamot, but it's definitely autumnal to me. Like, it's a fall, warm, amber, cozy kind of scent. And I have some watermelon products in this project that I want to get out. Since it's summer, watermelon, eat all the snow cones, all of it. So, Dees is going to sit on the back burner for a while but I still highly recommend it. Let's talk about the watermelon products, yeah. Okay, so I forgot to weigh one of them, but I luckily I can see through these two. So I brought in the Garnier Fructis Plumping Treat Shampoo watermelon with watermelon extract. So I have the shampoo and I have the conditioner. You can see where we are. So these are okay. I don't find that the conditioner is conditioning enough to like prevent tangles, etc. So not my favorite, but they smell delicious. Like the smell is 10 out of 10 would recommend. And if you're someone who doesn't need like a lot of conditioner, you may enjoy that. And then I brought in the, um, the hair mask. I don't know why I didn't weigh this at the beginning. Mm. This is starting at 416. Can you see it's white, white on white. Um, this is not quite as good as the Eva NYC, but it's still enjoyable, and I believe this is probably, I don't know, $5, and the one from Eva NYC may be closer to $15. Don't quote me. Ooh, I can see through it. Hot oh, damn. I was like, I don't know that I can see through this. I can. We gonna mark it, brother. Hot dog. Hot dog. I knew I was gonna do it. So I am filming this on Saturday the 9th, and my brother and my nephew left yesterday to go home. Boone is April, May, June, July. He will be 17 months at the end of this month. No, that's not right, Misty. Oh my word, Misty, math. He'll be 16 months at the end of this month. Woo, Lord. And he is a handful, let me tell you. But he really loves Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And we weren't giving him screen time or anything, but I, it popped in my head and I started singing it and he got so excited. So I turned it on for him. So yeah, that it's literally stuck in my head. But I'm gonna, maybe I'll insert a little bit of footage. Um, he was sitting at, in his high chair in the kitchen with me. I was cooking dinner and I was like, Mimi and Boone. And he just started giggling. It was so funny, but I'm 44 years old. I am too damn old to be dealing with a toddler. Let me just say. <laughs> Mimi and boom. Mimi and boom. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Mimi and boom. Mimi and boom. <laughs> anyway, um, next we have the Batiste Lux Dry Shampoo. This um, lost 20 grams. So last update was 135. It's now one, that's 30. Don't even listen to my math, okay? Day, bread day, dead brain. See, can't even talk. <laughs> it's 30, 135 last month. It's now 105. It's just about done. Oy, what is wrong with my brain? Okay, next we have the Body Shop Lemon Body Butter. Okay, so this is where we were. This is where, <laughs> this is 
where we are. I can't, I don't want to take the label off, but this is where we are. We've made, I made tons of progress. I've been using this consistently. I'm ready for it to be gone. So that, I don't think that'll be an empty next update, but hopefully it'll be gone by September because I am ready for it to G G up. Get out. Uh, next we have the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap. I'm making pretty steady progress on this. I mentioned how much I hate it. It is not, it says extra mild. It makes my eyes, it burns my eyes and it burns my skin. So, they lie in my who lie. Next, we have the Elemis Superfood Mask. Last update, this was 77. It's now 68. I've literally used this one time since the last update, I think. I just forgot about it because I moved it. So I, um, I leave this on my nightstand and then I walk to my vanity so I have a mirror to put it on and I put it with my perfumes and then just forgot about it <laughs> so, until this update. So hopefully next update, this will be just about finished. I absolutely love this mask. I do it twice a week. Like I said, I leave it on my nightstand, put it on when I first wake up in the morning, give it 10 to 15 minutes to set while I'm like brushing my teeth, etc. And then I grab a shower. So this is into finish. Everything so far is into finish and we're not there yet. Okay. That was the end of the kind of beauty section of this. So I have, excuse me, for next update, I should have an empty of the tree hut scrub. I have three of them in here. Um, if I don't start that, I'll start that perfectly posh um, snarky bar. Uh, I don't know anything else that might be done. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that might be done. So let's move on to the makeup portion of the video. If you haven't guessed, this is where we have some robots. So let's start with the first rollout. <laughs> this was the Shop Miss A Green Liquid Liner. I really enjoy these. I think they're good, they're great. Except for this one. I don't know what happened, but I went to grab this to put it on and the lid had popped off. So the lid, you really have to push it on and like the air stops it. Don't ask me how, I don't know. But I thought I put it on hard enough and when I went to open the door, the lid had popped back off. So unfortunately, I didn't get to finish this all the way, but it doesn't sound like it has much liquid left. I mean, it was a dollar. So it's not like I paid, you know, $15 for an eyeliner, but I'm sad to see it go. I do enjoy the formula, but yeah, so that is gone. And I used that one. I got to use that one more time. So I used it a total of four times. <laughs> Yay. Next we have the LA Girl Shockwave Liner. I don't why I haven't been tracking this um where are we it's on the next page I'm like what the hell so since the last update I've used this one more time for a total of six times so my goal initially was just to get down to the word neon and I did that actually neon is almost gone but my goal now is to finish it so I'm only doing about two green looks a month, so this will probably be in the whole entire time. Although, if you were with me in the month of June, I was a watermelon several different times. <laughs> so I'll either do green on the top, pink on the bottom, or pink on the top, green on the bottom. I really love that look. I love watermelon. What can I say? I don't know. Um, but I was also trying to pan that flipping pink. Anyway, so this is into finish. Misty, move on. Next, we had the Physician's Formula Butter um, Blush and Saucy Moth. My goal is to wear the pattern off, and I have not done that. Um, last update, or since the last update, I've used this five times for a grand total of 15 times. It smells delicious. It's pretty. There we go. Next, we have the AOA Primer Spray. This at the last update was 72 grams. It's now 58 grams. I use this, I spray this on before I start my makeup. I spray this on after I put my powders on. I spray this on my brushes, etc. I actually really, really like, oh, it's so opaque. I can see through it. Oh, man, why didn't I notice all this before? There we go. I really hate weighing stuff, so if I can see through it, that's like, yes. Anyway, I go to finish that. It may be done next update. That's not a whole lot, so. 
Anywho, we are moving right along. Next is my Clinique mascara. Uh, since the last update, I had so as of last update, I've used this 12 times. I've used it nine more times for a total of 21 times. This is going to be the last month with this um, mascara. I really, really like it. But it's transferring. And it wasn't doing that before, but the last couple of times I've worn it, it transferred. In fact, the last batch of videos I filmed, I was like, I got black on my under eye, and it was this mascara. Ain't nobody got time for that. So that I'm going to give it one more month. That'll be, f what, four months? May, June, July, August. Yeah, four months of use. That's long enough for a mascara, and we'll be, we'll be done with it. Next. <laughs> okay. This is the Joa Truly Yours Foundation. This is what it looks like. Can you see it happening? It is literally oxidizing to orange. You can really see it when I add another stripe. Maybe you can notice it. I can't see what you're seeing in the viewfinder, but god dang. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? You can really see it there. This is the color it's supposed to be. This is the color it oxidizes to. I was like, no. <laughs> so um, maybe I put it in at the beginning of the video. I, I don't know. I'll decide. But I, it's 5 p.m., and I had been working on my makeup since 11. I just, I couldn't get anything to go correctly. My base kept looking like crap. So this is the fourth, the fourth iteration of my makeup today. That was on the third iteration. I literally had to wipe my face, wash my face because that had turned so dark on my under eye. I was like, I give up. <laughs> I'm done. I give up. So, oh, I meant to grab it. Green for a green. I'm going to bring in this. This is the Revolution Calming Makeup Fixing Spray. And as you can see, it looks like it's not brand new. And that's because Ulta Distribution Center, in their infinite wisdom, mailed not only these open bottles, but also a glass foundation or a glass, a foundation and a glass bottle, blushes, a couple other things, and a god dang bubble mailer and so both of there's two caps I think on this one no not on this one on the other one I bought two on the other one there's two caps both caps popped off and the inside of the bubble mailer was full of setting spray so that's why it's not brand new it doesn't look brand new but this is it's brand new to me so my goal is going to finish this and this is going to replace the Joa I'm not replacing the eyeliner because I did get some use out of it that Joa concealer was brand new where are we at? <laughs> uh, uh, AOA Aqua Primer. This was 27. It's now 22. There's a huge air bubble in this. Maybe. But this is actually a really nice primer. I like it. Um, I don't know that I would repurchase it, but it's a, it's nice. I like it. So this is in the finish. I think this will be done next update. Oh, yeah. Okay. Next was the Garnier sunscreen. I finished that. That was in my empties. I was like, were there any things I needed to save? And I completely forgot I needed to save that sunscreen bottle. But you guys saw it last month, so it is what it is. Next, we have a ColourPop Assure thing. So the rest of these are eyeshadows. So as of the last update, I've used this three times. I used it two more times for a total of five. My goal for this is just to hit pan. This is going to take forever because it's so flippin' dry um, and it's just a topper shade. So it's not like this is one that you, you know, build up to opacity, etc. So this one's going to take a while, which is fine. I am trying to average about two, <laughs> two green looks a month. So that's why you're going to see some of these greens only have one or two uses. It's literally because I'm only trying to do like two a month. Um, I would do more, but I have, I'm just painting so many eyeshadows. Addos, Ooh. painting so many eyeshadows and this project goes all the way to 
I mean, I have a year, basically, so I'm not worried about it. I know I'll hit pan in it eventually at some point. Next, we have the Mora Lucent Eyeshadow in Aurora. I cannot read without my bifocals on. So this is a cream shadow. As of the last update, I'd used it two times. I've used it two more times for a total of four. And again, my goal is just to hit pan. These are lovely. If you want to see swatches, you can watch my intro to this. Next, we have Mercury. Same, same verse, same as the first. Second verse, same as the first. I had used this two times prior. I've used it two times since for a total of four. Next, we have a Spice Jalapeno. You know what? Let me go down my list. Um, next in line is... The Leprechaun Clarity, <laughs> Leprechaun from Clarity. As of the last update, I've used it three times. I've used it two more times for a total of five. And that's this shade right here. My goal is to hit pan. It's really pretty. Next, we have Capri by Clarity. As of the last update, I've used this two times. I've used it two more times for a total of four. Vanny Glitter. This is going to be hard to see, I think. So my goal for Vanny Glitter was to hit pan, and I did. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but this is a pen. Anyway, this is pan. The, the pan is like dark. So this is done. And I think this is also going to just be done done. It has, I've used a lot of this. I mean, hell, I used it almost up. And it's kind of dry. Well, no, it's, it's okay. I think I may leave this in and see if I can finish it. But that, I mean, that is a nice, big, juicy pan. But as of, the goal has been met. Misty, don't. <laughs> I'm going to call this one goal met. And I'll put it in a different project to finish. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am, could you not? Could you not? Okay, next we have Lotus from Ace Beauté. As in my last update, I had used this three times. I've used it two more times for a total of five times, and I have been. <laughs> this is a really pretty color. These, this is very much like a super shock formula. I almost watched it on the other color, Dodo Bird. This is it swatched on the other color, but this is it on its own. Um, it's a really pretty shade. It's still nice and creamy. Um, I was really surprised that I hit pan. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. What is that? <laughs> How did I hit pan already? But so yeah, that's two, two pans out of, I think I put 10 eyeshadows in this project. Next we have um, the Margarita palette, which is the Spice Jalapeno. As of the last update, I had used this four times. I've used it two more times for a total of six. I don't have pan yet. The next two or two times I use this, this will be pan for sure. But you can see that I'm making good progress in this palette. It looks very well loved. I forgot the other two. <laughs> next, we have List Grinch. Lit List Grinch. So this is their deep dark green. I will try to remember to insert pictures. Um, as of the last update, I had used this six times. Nope. I'd used this two times. I've used it four more times for a total of six. It's a really pretty shade. It's really deep and dark and lovely. And it's a nice formula. And then last but not least is the Green Olive in the Dirty Martini palette. As of the last update, I've used this six times. I've used it three more times for a total of nine times. So that's it right there. So, that's it. <laughs> that is everything on my list. So, we have finished one, two, three, four, four prompts or four, um, we've met four goals is what I'm, I've met four goals. <laughs> what said we? And I am bringing in something new for the, the crazy uh concealer and yeah so i don't this may have pan 
Next update. I'm gonna be finished with the concealer because of its age and the transferring. Ugh, I don't think anything, oh, the primer should be done. This may be done. I will probably bring in my pharmacy green clean that's in this project because I'm just about done with this one. The, um, the hair, the dry shampoo will be done. So I foresee us having, or me having an, uh, one, two, three, four, like empties, one with pan met. So that would be five goals. I'm kicking butt and taking names. <laughs> That's it. Hopefully this wasn't too all over the place. But anyway, so yeah, you still have plenty of time to jump into this project. Like I said, you don't have to introduce all 50 products at one time. I just did, that way I can start working on the next thing without having to update you guys. That's just easier for me to pan because I'm doing so many projects. Um, but that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Let me know if you've joined this. Let me know how many you're working on. I love following you guys. I love hearing about your painting. Painting has become like my primary kind of content that I watch on the YouTubes. So yeah, anyway, that's it. Okay guys, I love your faces. Have a good day now, weekend, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Come inside, it's fun inside. It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. See, I told you. <laughs>